I'm nervous. I'm still laughing. Anyway, we have any coffee that we're done in the audience. Come on. That one again? But today, biggest disappointment in my life. I go to McDonald's to pick up a cup of coffee, only because it's cheaper than Starbucks. But ever since the lawsuit that McDonald's got for the overheated coffee lap burning of you, uh, the coffee only comes in two extremes either loose door or shit, goddammit. And that's what it is. But this one horrible thing about shit, goddammit, coffee is you can't taste your egg with muffin. The advantage, though, of shit, goddammit, coffee is. You don't have to taste your own pumpkin. That's going to be the best. You still get a full meal, but you burn the shit out of your tongue. That means anything you need from that point on, it tastes like nothing. So go get that bar hat and go for it, you know? Anyway, you know, as you heard, if you're from the Nerds Economy, I mean, I'm sure the Star Wars fans out there, right? You've never seen Star Wars? I've seen, I've seen the prequel. I know they suck. But here's the thing. Everybody complains there's not enough black people in Star Wars. You've got three of them. Two white names, one that in the spaceship in the last film. You've got only four women, two of two, four women, three of them names, one was just a captain of the random team. But nobody knows the fact there is one Mexican in the entire film.
One of the teacher, probably married, probably have a kid, a shit amount of DVDs and manga on your wall, but you're still sociable, you know, and you're still a functioning adult. Then you get super seed. Maybe a girlfriend, maybe not. You call her your girlfriend, she calls you fuck you. <laughs> different part-time job every six months, but you're still paying the rent. You're still borderline. You're still good, you know? Then you get the paper seats. It's, it's, it's hard to get down because at that point, you've been at the same community college for seven years. <laughs> you go down to Argo, and the gas station attendant already knows who you are, and now you're packing up and you're waiting for you, so you don't have to bother with anything. Just slap your cheap G card and you're good. <laughs> It gets really bad when you get that 10 prestige level. Because at that point, you know, your blood type, it's not just a running. <laughs> you, you have almost, you have no social interaction whatsoever outside of Facebook or the in-game chat with the Call of Duty Elite programs. It, it gets so bad to the point where, not only when you're not too busy masturbating the lower crop, you're seeing your mom's crying, trying to pay for your online Japanese language lessons, and updating your Michael Ironside Charter Cooper's fan page. <laughs> Nothing left in life that's wrong. Every speech is not really a problem. Guess what? I don't need to see on Facebook. I can figure it out just by knowing you. I know at least three people in my circle of friends that are too busy to talk to me on freaking Facebook that are too busy trying to kill zombies and whatever the hell else will be my fucking name. But I know it's true. It's a fact because that's all they do. The obsession is ridiculous. Deal from nerds. I know nerds can look at a Call of Duty player and just go, ah, you're dork. <laughs> That's why it's totally like Twilight fans. Twilight fans are a fantastic thing, and please don't cheer for our Twilight fans, I'm going to hate you. <laughs> it's a funny thing because Twilight fans made it possible for Trekkies and Star Trek nerds and Comic Con to go out there and go, you're a fucking nerd. It's a very possible thing to be a normal. Because they admire glittery vampires and hunky werewolves. I am! I'm hunky werewolves. I can totally get to that one. But really, we're not afraid, this can't happen. It's just, it's just way too much. Uh, but, you know, the, the one thing that I've realized over time is that, you know, every nerd wants to dress up his girlfriend. Sorry, I assume you're going to talk to Every nerd wants to dress up his imaginary girlfriend as Princess Leia, that iron, you know, iron bone bikini girl. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Now I've got the value. Thank <laughs> you. 